Hi, I'm Jim Brickle from MedLearn Lincoln, and this is the 2024 Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring Edition. I wanted to give you an overview of where all the major controls were and how they are used. So, the rear tailgate does come with a power lift gate. That can be activated in several ways. You can kick underneath in the center, so it opens. There is the button to the right, which you can use to close. So if something gets in the way, like it might, I just did, it uh, will bounce back open, no major damage done. If you need to change the opening height, you can push this button in, pull it down to a more suitable height, wait for the beep, And now the next time we open it, it goes to that lower height. You can then reset it back to the higher height, pushing it up, waiting for the tone, and next time it'll open all the way. So you can use the button, you can use your foot underneath. On the driver's side of the vehicle is the fuel door, but you'll notice it does not open. When we have the hybrid, it is a pressure situation, so you must open the driver door. This button here, push and hold. And then your fuel door does open. It is our easy fuel system, does not require a gas cap. So you're not missing one, save yourself seconds upon seconds every fill up. 87 octane is the recommendation. And in the event you've run out of gas, some jerry cans will not go in here. So you're gonna need a funnel. The funnel, come to the back of the vehicle, open it up again. and it will be under there. Close it. Close. Now, the back seat is a lever underneath, allowing you to slide the chair forward and back so if you need more leg room or you need more cargo room it is adjustable the chairs themselves can fold down that's also at the back this time we're going to the right side push and hold for the right push and hold for the left Now, for the chairs, it's manually back up. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. This vehicle is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So in front of the driver door is your charge port. Plug it in. And on a full charge, you can definitely go a long way without gas. Now that we're in the vehicle, the power seat is on the driver door. So I can slide the chair back. I can lower it down. I can change the angle of recline. And I can change the distance at the front. The vehicle is push button start. So put on the brake. The green light comes on. It is a hybrid. So 
you don't hear the engine going at this point, but it does light up with the word ready. So you can see that on the left side of your display. Now, on the driver door, you have your, of course, the power seat. Once you've got your seat, your steering wheel, and your mirrors all where you want them, there's buttons one, two, and three, which you can push to lock in on the memory sets. Down here, we have our mirror controls. So this one here, we'll fold the mirrors in, push it again, and they go back out. Choose this one, and you can adjust the mirror with the arrows, or choose the right-hand side. Of course, your power locks, and to the left of the steering column. We already saw the fuel door release, and above that is the power lift gate release. Next, we have our headlamps. It's in the A position for automatic. And to the left of the steering column, this is the power tilt and telescoping. So it can go in, out, up, or down. And then that does become part of the memory sets when you lock it in for the driver. So it's the mirrors, the steering wheel, and the seat all get locked in. Now, on the left side of the steering wheel, we have our volume up and down for your audio controls and seeking to the next uh, station. This one here is to activate cruise control. Now, once we turn that on, the buttons for your cruise control have illuminated on the lower parts of the steering wheel. So on the left, you've got resume, set plus, and set minus. And on the right, you've got cancel, and you've got the adaptive cruise controls for the distance you want to stay behind the other vehicle. So as you make the adjustments there, it changes the uh, distance to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. On the left side of the steering wheel, right around the, uh, what do you call that, 9, about 10 position, if you're looking at a clock, that's your voice button. So you can push that and the voice controls uh, it can be for your stereo, it can be for your navigation, it can be for phone calls. This vehicle is equipped with paddle shifters. So on the right you've got a plus, on the left you've got a minus. And on your stock control for the turn, it also pushes in from the end and that will Lane keeping system off, lane keeping system on. And then if you don't want to use cruise control, you can turn that back off again. Now, on the right side of the steering wheel, we can change our display. So there's your tire pressure, an EV coach, electric economy, comm screen. So you can pick and choose what information you want displayed as you hit the button. Now, with the five-way here, when you go up, that's your navigation. And you've got uh, to your home, you can program in your home address, previous addresses, favorites, POI stands for points of interest. Now we can hit the home screen. So we're back in the regular section. We go down. This time HUD is on. That stands for heads up display. So you can partially see that in the video. And uh, the numbers do seem to be flashing. But right now I can see that it's 596 kilometers to empty. We're going zero kilometers an hour. The outside temperature is zero and the time is 128. 
when you go down, you've got the heads up display menu. Okay, is to the right. So you can change the brightness, you can change the position, you can change the content. Next down is our display setup. We hit OK. Information screens are OK. Would you rather have the speedometer showing in miles per hour? That would be this one here. Turn it on. And now our display has miles per hour as the bigger one, kilometers per hour as the small one. I'm going to be driving in Canada, so I'm going to turn the miles per hour back off again. Down below that, we have driving history, restore hybrid vehicle default values, hold OK to reset. There's a brake coach that you can use, oil life, a neutral tow. And if we hit the home screen, we're back to the beginning again. The stock control to the right is for your wipers. You're going to go up one notch, up two notches. So there's your nice high speed. Regular speed going as we go down, we're down to intermittent. And if you hit it uh, down, it just goes one single wipe. So you can put it where you need it. And on the end, this is for the rear wiper. You can go intermittent and then you can go continuous. And you can just see it there. So we turn that back off. And now we've come to our big screen in the center. So with the Lincoln symbol, this brings us to our home screen. So it's loading the map. Of course, we're in St. Catharines. Audio is off. If you need to add your phone, which is definitely a good idea, it would be here. And then on the side, we have our settings. So initially, you want to get the vehicle set up for you. So we're going to go to general. Now, you've got a choice of in on your language. So English, Spanish, and French. Obviously, I'm speaking in English, so that's what I'll be continuing it with. The temperature. You've got a choice of Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm in Canada. We use Celsius, so that's the one I've got. But if you're old school or in the United States, you can use, of course, Fahrenheit. Measurement units. Miles and miles per gallon. Kilometers and liters per hundred kilometers or kilometers and kilometer per liter. So most common in Canada is the kilometers and liters per hundred kilometers. So that's where we've got it set. If we did hit the um, miles and we go back, the odometer has gone to miles, but the speedometer is still in kilometers. So now we go back over here. We reset it back to kilometers and our odometer is back showing the kilometers. Our tire pressure, we continue to scroll down, our sink, our licenses, and reset. When you sell or trade the vehicle, you want to do a reset, and that would um, eliminate your phone, your Lincoln Way app, all of your personal settings would be uh, wiped out because future drivers don't need to know that. The other one you can do after the general is go to vehicle. Now, it's a very quiet vehicle, so quiet that some people forget to shut off the engine. So we've got it set 
or 30 minute max idle. If I forgot to shut off the engine, it will shut off automatically. Rear occupant alert. So when you shut off the vehicle, it's going to, it can alert you to check in the back for little kids, animals, uh, your pets, you know, whatever. And if you're never going to have anyone in the back seat, so you're, you're by yourself or just the two of you, you can shut that off. If you do, you will receive a reminder twice a year to check if you want to turn the rear occupant alert back on. Below that we have easy entry exit. So the seat adjustment I'm going to turn on. And now when I shut off the vehicle, the chair is going to go to the back position. The steering wheel is going to go up makes it easier to get out of the vehicle. When I come back in and I restart it, it'll go to the memory set. So it's a great thing to turn on and makes it easy to get out, easy to get back in. Onboard modem serial number, chimes, whoops, remote start setup. So it is active for the remote start. That can be done from the FOB. It can be done from the Lincoln Way app. Climate controls. If you use the remote start, you can have it go to automatic or you can have it go to your last settings. Seats and steering wheel. It's winter time out, so I put it to automatic. The seats will heat up and so will the steering wheel. Makes it nice and comfortable for when you get back in your vehicle. Now, if you use the remote start and then for some reason you don't actually go anywhere or you forgot that you started it, you can uh, set the duration. So it can run for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15, whichever you choose. I picked the middle one at 10 minutes. So our remote start setup is done. Windows, do you want to be able to open them remotely? Wipers, you've got the available courtesy wipe, rain sensing, which is on, and rear wiper comes on. If it's raining, if the front wipers are on and you put the vehicle in reverse, the rear wipers will automatically go on. So all of those are your choices. We already saw that the power lift gate was uh, working as we've used it a couple of times. The hands free is available or you could set the uh, lift gate to manual. So we've got it power and we've got it with the hands free and that's why I was able to kick underneath and have it open or close. Lighting. This is an important one. Of course you need to be able to see. Automatic high beams. So at night if there's no other cars on the road, it will put on the high beams, make it easier for you to see. If it detects another vehicle, uh, it will then put the lights back down to normal. And welcome lighting. That's another good one for evening time. Uh, when it's dark out and you can't always identify exactly where your vehicle is, as long as you've got the fob in your pocket as you approach it, some of the lights will come on and welcome you to the vehicle. Earlier we set the headlamps to automatic and now with automatic auto lamp delay you can choose how long they stay on after you shut off the engine. So for most people uh, once you get out of the vehicle and lock it 20 seconds to get into the house seems to be enough time. So that's where I've got it set. That was our lighting. Now it comes to locks. So auto unlock. When you shut off the engine, um, put the vehicle in park, shut off the engine, all the doors will unlock. If you don't want that to happen, you can shut that up. You can turn that one off. Audible feedback. So you're getting the beeps when uh, you're opening it and remote unlock. So if you're using the key fob or you're using the intelligent access, 
you want just the driver door to open and then a second touch would be the rest of the doors or do you want them all to open at the same time the choice is up to you and that's where you pick make your selection and then we get down to intelligent access so uh, if the fob is on your person it can be in your pocket it can be in your purse wherever touch the door handle in one spot it'll unlock touch another spot it will lock so I've activated that so we've got a lot of things that are set up in your vehicle the next one is mirrors so we've got a feature called auto fold turn that to the on position when I am finished with the vehicle, I park it, I get out, I lock the doors, the mirrors will automatically fold in. Earlier I showed you how you can manually hit the button to open or close them, but this uh, will do it automatically. So most people like that, and the ones trying to get past your car in a parking lot will appreciate it as it's easier to get by when the mirrors have been folded in. So we've got the vehicle set up, um, we've seen the power driver's seat, we've seen the uh, language and units. So we've got the general uh, selections made, we've done the vehicle selections. You can do personal profiles and have different settings for um, different drivers. And with these chairs, in addition to the buttons on the door, you can uh, go for different parts of the chair. So if this one here, you needed it going out a little bit further, you can, or up a little higher, push that out. So you've got plenty of adjustments on your chair to get it where you want it. And the absolute best feature, in my opinion, is the massaging seats. So, you've got lower rolling, upper rolling, circular cushion, full recovery, absolutely love it. It's going up and down on the back, and then in the seat area, uh, you feel definitely more relaxed after a long trip as you've been getting a massage the entire time. The massage seats are for both the front driver and the passenger. If you didn't want to access it from the screen, on the driver door, this button next to the one, two, three memory sets will also bring you to your driver seat settings. If the passenger hits that button, it will go to the passenger seat settings. And as much as I enjoy it, I am going to turn off the massage. So you've got your driver's seat, massage is off, passenger seat, connectivity, vehicle hotspot, mobile app, software updates, Lincoln Personal Assistant, and ambient lighting. Sorry, uh, software updates. It is recommended that you set the vehicle to automatic updates, similar to your cell phone. Um, it can update automatically, so you don't have to do anything uh, other than connect to your home Wi-Fi. Lincoln Personal Assistant. So you've got the voice button on the steering wheel, which was over here, or you can set it up as a wake word. And your choices of possible. Now I'm going to turn that off. We've got advanced mode, phone confirmation, voice command list. So some of these things, uh, to become fully uh, efficient with them, you need to practice once or twice on your own. 
ambient lighting at nighttime. It can light up in the foot wells and in the cup holders. In the daytime it won't, but you get to pick from all of these great colors. So nice light blue there is going to look fantastic at night. We've got 911 assist in the event um, you're in a collision, the driver airbag inflates, your paired phone can automatically call 911. Valet mode, you can hit that, select your own four digit pin. It will temporarily disable the navigation and the phone features. So buddy in the red jacket would have access to your vehicle, but he's not going to have access to your home and your personal information. The buttons across the bottom of the display screen. We've got our heating and cooling seats. So the heat red would be the heating seats. Blue would be cooling seats. Now it's zero degrees outside, so I really don't think I need cooling seats on. So I'm going to turn that back off. The next one is your heated steering wheel. Beautiful idea when it comes to um, the winter time. Heated steering wheel, you don't have to have uh, gloves on. Uh, when you don't have gloves on, then the touch screen works better. Your fan speed, automatic setting, where you want the air flowing. So we've got it for heat and we can have it coming through the panel vents on the floor or up at the defrost, whatever works best for you. Your max defrost, your rear defrost, air conditioning, passenger temperature, passenger um, heated and cooling seat. This vehicle uses what we refer to as piano key shifters. So you've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Your stereo volume is the volume is the button here. This one with the P and the two lines. That is our parking assistance. When you push that, it can do parallel parking, perpendicular parking. If it parks you, it can get you out of a spot. So it's a pretty cool system. Uh, your, your cameras. So right now you're seeing what's in front of us and the 360 degree camera. With the lines up here, it gives you the other camera choices. So that was just what's in front. This is a wide angle view of what's in front. And then there's what's uh, behind us. So you can shut that off. Your four way hazard flashers. You can turn off the screen if you want. Traction control. Um, off switch, maximum defrost. Down between the chairs, we've got our parking brake and we have drive modes. When you push this in, look at the dash, there's normal. And then you dial it. So preserve EV, save and charge the battery for later, excite. Serve for efficient driving, slippery for slick, icy, and loose surfaces. So you put the one on that's uh, right for you. This part here can slide open. There's a wireless charging pad and spots where you can also plug things in. Push it and it will slide back to the closed position. So, this has been an overview of the 2024 Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring Edition. I hope you enjoy your new vehicle. I'm Jim Brickle.